Okay, I'm getting ready to start my run. I drank about 20 ounces of fluid, had half of a power bar, so hopefully I'll have enough energy to run this run today. I do a long run once a week. I found it uh, it's very beneficial for my strength overall and for my uh, distance running and I can actually improve my 5k and my 10k times by doing this kind of a run. Alright, here we go. The temperature right now is about uh, 78 degrees up here in the high desert in Hesperia, California. Looks like we're going to have another 100 degree day. So I have to get my runs out pretty early or it'll just be too dang hot to run them later on. This hill right here, I do hill repeats on this hill about once every maybe a couple of times a month. It's about 80 meters long, just perfect. I go up to the top of the hill and I run over that garbage can. She's about 400 meters, the whole thing. right out after me. I love these windmills. There's one. There's the second one over here. Here's the third one. Coming up right now. It took me a while to get warm up. I didn't get my second mile split, but my first mile is around eight minutes. I'm gonna see what my third mile split here is coming up. The last two miles uh, are 15-17. Uh, so I'm running around a 736 mile pace for the last two miles. Mile four is 711. I had a little bit of some downhill on this part of the run, but this run's deceiving from about mile four to mile 10. I have to climb around 700 feet. So I have kind of a, a slow grinding hill coming up. Mile 5 is a 6.53 pace, so I'm running a little bit faster, starting to get warmed up. However, I can't maintain that pace throughout the whole run, but some of that was on downhill and asphalt. Now I'm on the uh, California Aqueduct right now. Mile 6, 6.40 pace. Feeling pretty good, relaxed, not too tired. Ten more miles to go, whoa! Mile 7, 648. This is a part of the aqueduct where it actually goes underground for a mile or so, then it comes back above ground, then it uh, goes a few more miles and goes underground again until it dumps out of Lake Silverwood. There's kind of good news and bad news for the next three miles of this run. We'll go past mile 7. Good news is I'm running on pavement which is easier. The bad news is about a 500 foot hill. We have a long slow hill for the next three miles. Mile 8 was uh, 658. So I'm starting to feel the effects of the hill. This is how I could hear. I'm on the part of the run now where I don't have to worry about anybody. Nothing. Just a bunch of dirt. 
Hard Pack, Usan. 653. It's going on, buddy. 10 miles, 649 mile pace. I'm feeling it now. Woo! This is getting me. I'm running around in a electrical uh, power station right now. Mile 11 is a 6.45 mile pace. I gotta have a water break. I'll never make it. Simply too dry, running too hard. That water is just hot. About 100 degrees for some reason, but better than nothing. Uh, well, it's uh, 729. The uh, water stop cost me some time. And there's some big hills right now in the sand. Mile 13, 650. Mile 14, 638. Going downhill a little bit for the next two miles to about the end. Thank goodness. Get back! Get a pit bull. Stay back. You rat bastard. It's just how it is. You gotta be careful about these dogs. Especially with these pit bulls. You can't run from them. You gotta face them. This area right here I've been bitten before by German Shepherd right in the butt one time. No kidding. Don't laugh either. 15 miles right here, 645 pace, that's my last mile, the pit bull sent me back about 15 seconds, mile 16, 625, about 400 meters to go, this is just about it here, 16.21 miles, here we go, thank goodness. All right, here's the stats. 1,898 calories. Average mile pace, 710. The maximum mile pace, uh, 550. And the total distance is 16.3 miles. That was a good run. Have you done your long run this week? <laughs>